Hey, it's the champ Antonio Tarver. Man, I want to dive right in, man. All my fans have been asking me to do a recap of the Tim Zhu and the uh, Bakram Martizalia, uh re fight this past weekend, man. I really didn't want to do a recap because, you know, just witnessing the fight, it was very hard. It was very hard to watch, um, you know, having all of the respect and admiration for, uh, you know, Casa Zoo and his career, you know, Hall of Fame career, and just wanted to see Tim do well and get back on the winning track, man. But it wasn't meant to be. He came in against a, a, a fairly unknown fighter, and that's always dangerous, you know, when a guy's undefeated. You know, I went on box rec and didn't see any of his, his amateur accolades, so I really didn't know how deep you know, his, his, his career went. I know he started in 2012, but other than that, you feel me? Uh, there wasn't nothing, no real background on him. I mean, unless somebody knew him, you know, but it wasn't on box rec, you know? So I kind of felt that that was a red flag. You know what I mean? I, I went and saw the guy on film and didn't really see anything that truly stood out, you know, uh, other than, you know, he was undefeated didn't really show any incredible power, didn't show, uh, you know, amazing footwork, no real head movement, just, you know, one of your typical, you know, Russian born, you know, style fighter that, that, that looked to be very tough. He looked to be tough. You know what I mean? So I knew he would give Tim some good rounds, but never did I think, you know, the fight would start like that, you know, very fast. He got off to a fast start. You know, uh, uh, you know, uh, my guy, uh, Martizalia, was uh, really trying to control because, again, he was the champion coming in. I thought, you know, Tim should have let the fight marinate it a little bit. You know what I mean? Not even really start to open up to that degree because it really wasn't time for that. You know, you're still in the fill-out round. Get your fill-out. You feel me? But sometimes you know, as a champion, trying to prove that he belongs, you know what I mean? Sometimes, you know, we feel the need to do a lot more, you know what I mean, to try to, you know, convince not only everyone else, but sometimes even ourselves. you know, are we that guy? Because we're going to stand on, you know, what we come out of our mind, we're standing on it. So I think Tim Zhu, you know, got a little bit careless early, you know, very careless early. And once he got cracked, it seems like he had a hard time recovering. You feel me? Before he could clear his head and get his wits about himself, boom. You feel me? Bakram was hit, hit, landing some big shots again. And, it, you know, and Tim Zhu never could find himself. And before you know it, you know, I mean, he was taking some uh, unnecessary punishment. And I think his corner did the right thing by uh, stopping the fight, you know. Now, where does Tim go from here, man? I think, you know, he's going to have to definitely take some time off. But but while he's taking time off, you don't want to, you know, go too far away from the gym if you really, you know, having thoughts with you and your team and your family that you're going to, you know, step back in there and, and try to do and try to put everything back together again. It's going to be a... a, a a long road back, but it, it's not impossible. It's not impossible. You just got to really uh, go into yourself, that tunnel vision, and, and really be honest and truthful with yourself on, on how you want to approach, you know, your career moving forward. You're going to have to definitely, you know, take the necessary steps to get back. I mean, I wouldn't advise Tim Zhu come out and fight anybody, you know, in the top 10 right away. But just to get, you know, give him a couple 10-round fights, you know what I mean, let him shake off the cobwebs, get his confidence back, then get back in the gym with a real plan, man, to, uh, you know, navigate your way back to the top. You know, I, I really wanted to see Tim do well. Uh, it, really, it really hurt me again, man, just witnessing the way everything, you know, ended up. But, again, this is boxing, man, and, uh, you know uh, – that other fighter got dreams too. You always got to remember that. You know what I mean? And uh, never take anyone lightly, man. These guys, you know, 
have been working a long time, you know, to get an opportunity, man. So when they finally get their chance, you know, they bring everything to the table. You know what I mean? These unknown guys out here, man, that, you know, you put the spotlight on, you give them an opportunity of a lifetime, you know, hey, man, you're going to have to really do something drastic to take that stake off that man's table. You feel me? And that's basically what it comes down to, man. You know, these guys trying to feed their family too. So, you know, you can't take anyone lightly. And I'm not insinuating that Tim did, you know, but definitely when he got hurt, man, his survival skills, you know, and you got to practice that too. I'll never forget in the Olympics, man, we used to hit the bag and then the coach would make us spin around till we get dizzy. And then we have to attack that bag. You feel me? And it feels as if you've gotten your bell rung. You're dizzy, but you're trying to, you feel me, be coordinated enough in your thoughts that you're able to keep it together. And, and, and a lot of times when, you know, it feels like the, the house is burning down, you got to fan flames, man. You got to fan flames. And that takes a cool cucumber under pressure to be able to do that, man. You got to have a strong mental process in that fight, in the fight game, while that fight is going on, bro. You feel me? While everything around you, man, you got to be thinking clearly and, and really, uh, you know what I'm saying, have a notion of what you want to do. And you got to do it, you know, as if you got your your thoughts and your wits about you. And that's that's difficult. So all these things you have to practice in the gym. There's a time for it all, bro. And you got to practice it in the gym. So I'm looking forward to uh, Tim Zeus' team and, and putting it all back together again, man, and take your time getting back. He's still a young man in the game. He's only lost twice. This is his first time being stopped with inside the distance. That is definitely, you know, a hit to your confidence. It's a hit to your confidence. You know what I mean? And you're going to have to get in that, in that room alone and truly focus and, and, and rebuild and reinvent yourself. You know what I mean? Sometimes we can do that and bring ourselves back better than we were before, but you're gonna have to have the guys around you, man, that really wanna see you win and that has that experience to really guide you. You know, so there you have it, man. You've been listening to Tarvis Tate. This has been a tough one, man. I, I really didn't wanna do this one with Tim Zhu, man, seeing how everything unfolded, it really hurt. It was hard to watch, as I said before, man, but I'm praying for his whole team, man. Like I said, I got nothing but the utmost respect for his legendary father. I met his uh, brother, Nikita, man, and uh, I just wish them well, man, all the way from the U.S. You, this isn't the last you've seen of Tim Zoo. I can promise you that. Until the next time, stay tapped in, and I'll talk to you then. And for the champion goes the spoils. Just like Tim Zoo would have been in line for all these unification bouts, now, same thing goes for Bakram, man. He's in the mix. And, you know, who knows? He could be looking at a Crawford or a Fondora, maybe even a Spence. These are the big fights in store for Bakram, Martizalia, man, coming up in the near future. So that's a guy you want to keep an eye on.